Hi, welcome to your October's vlog. This is the vlog where the rats are finally getting put back together and you're gonna see all of that. But before that, I just wanted to talk to you about today's video sponsor. So I've been working with Skillshare for the past year or so to bring you guys access to a big online community for curious and creative people. When you become a Skillshare member, you unlock access to thousands and thousands of really diverse classes for a range of different topics and also a community of millions of people that are also trying to learn a new skill. Something that I have personally been using Skillshare for recently that I did say I really wanted to work on is picking up some skills when it comes to baking. So I am really guilty of always using packet mixes for everything and not actually trying to follow a proper recipe and I really wanted to get more into baking now that we actually have a new bigger kitchen I really have no excuse. So Skillshare comes in because they have a bunch of classes on baking. I've been following this class called Baking 101, the basics of baking cookies, muffins and cakes by Shabranshu. This class not only teaches you the basic steps for baking, but also explains why certain ingredients are used. Things like unsalted butter, I never knew why that in particular had to be used, and I didn't realise why it was so important. Following this class, I did pick up some tips and I did make some chocolate chip cookies and oh my god, they were so good, so much better than just using a packet mix. Classes like this one really do go to show just how much diversity there is with the things you can learn on Skillshare. There are new classes being added to Skillshare all the time and none of these have any adverts on the videos because Skillshare really values your learning and that is their top priority. So as always, Skillshare are offering you guys access to a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership that is only available to first a thousand people that click the link in my description. That is only a one month trial, but it's plenty of time to pick up a new skill, whether it's baking, drawing, digital art, photography, everything Skillshare has to offer, you have access to all of that with the free trial. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring another vlog. Now let's go and introduce the rats again and hope that it goes okay this time. Okay, so it is that time again where it's time to do intros, and I did film a few clips of last time before things went very wrong very quickly. Here's a quick recap of last time when things went pretty good initially, before Whisper went on his rampage and had to get neutered. boys that have been living together for a few months we have got crumble bagel humbug and pudding at the back so they've all been getting along really well and we're going to put whisper and twix in here and just hope for the best <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. One, two, three. 
funky. Oh my gosh, that is so happy. This stage has taken absolutely ages, but everyone is doing good. No one is injured, not even a scratch on any of them. So I'm really happy with it so far. And I'm ready to move them up to the next step, which is this bigger, longer cage. So quite a jump, um, but fingers crossed they do okay. So many rats moving around. <laughs> Honestly, it's really weird to see all six of them together because I've never had six rats and watching them all kind of swarm together is... Wait. Behave. Bagel. Oh, Twix, honey. Has he been mean?
You've been doing really good with just your hammock. You've been doing so good with just your hammock. Would you like some more toys? Should we give you some more? <laughs> there you go. Nothing too complicated at this stage. Don't ruin it for yourself. So I just had these Dairy Cow Isopods delivered and I'm way more excited than I thought I'd be. They came with a bunch of food which I was not expecting so that is a really cute touch. I'll leave the seller in the description just in case you're interested because they really do seem to care. But essentially I bought these to have as a cleanup crew and to start a breeding colony because as they start moving more towards bioactive setups I just thought I'd give myself a bit of a head start and I went for the Dairy Cow ones because I think they're so cute and I didn't actually have a setup for them. I'm going to put them in a big bin cage eventually but they arrived like five days before I was expecting them so I'm just popping them into this Exoterra but I am weirdly excited about this. I feel like I completely skipped a whole chapter but the boys are all in the big cage now, they've got the entire cage to themselves and uh, they're doing really well between themselves so I'm really happy, everything has gone how I could have hoped and uh, Baker is still being a little bit of a pest to the others but nothing too drastic, he's not injuring them or hurting them, no one seems incredibly stressed out so things are going really good but I feel like I have completely forgotten how to actually set up a full rat cage, I don't like how this looks and I'm really tempted to switch over to a more naturalistic theme or setup. I do have a few things already. I deliberately got the Sputnik in this colour. I've got things like this, the Java branches. But I just need a few more things. So if you have any recommendations for places to buy more naturalistic rat items. Baker, what are you doing to him? Leave him alone. Please let me know in the comments because I do need to switch out a few things. I just have everything more cohesive. So any suggestions for places to buy naturalistic rat items or themed things please let me know and I will buy them but I did buy some new hammocks which should hopefully be here next month and I'm really excited about them because they are naturalistic themed and that should kick start the whole setup so that's the plan don't know how long it's going to take me to collect everything but that's what I'm hoping to do sir why are you sleeping in the water bowl why are you sleeping there there's a perfectly good hammock up there you are so silly yes get out Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Oh, do you feel old? You're an old man. Happy birthday. <laughs> Good boy. Whisper, what are you doing? What are these TVs? So today is Hamburg's second birthday, I've just spent some time with him, I took some really cute birthday pictures, he's had a little bit of cake, Crumble's second birthday is also this week, he is going to be too on the 21st of October so I also need to get some pictures of him as well, but we've just spent some time together and I just thought I'd give you a quick update on both of them because they are old men now and they do have their own separate things going on and updates so I'll start with Hamburg. So Hamburg for a two year old rat is in fairly good shape. Most of the rats I've had in the past that have been from not the best places have just about scraped getting to two. And you can tell they were that age, you could tell they were old because they did look a bit worse for wear. But looking at him and also Crumble, I don't think you could tell they are the age they are. So the only thing with Hamburg is he does unfortunately have a tumour. I think it's a mammary tumour that is kind of underneath his armpit. And I discovered this a little while ago. It's not been too long that he's had this, but I discovered this and my heart just shattered because he is in fairly good condition otherwise, but he is also a two year old rat. So I've been going back and forth with myself about this. And I know people will have different opinions, but this is something that you have to kind of personally decide yourself, whether it's worth removing and putting your rat through the stress and the pain of surgery and recovery. And I've gone back and forth ever since making my decision and before making my decision whether it's the right decision to remove a tumour on a two year old rat or not and I do think it is a case by case basis but for him he has been through a lot of stress in the past six months with all of the intros and issues with the other rats and they're finally in a place where they don't have to be separated and I just don't want to put him through the pain and the recovery for the next couple of weeks however long he has left. I don't want him going through that so I did make the decision to not remove his tumour and just let it progress and then obviously when it does get to a point where it starts causing issues and affecting his mobility and his quality of life I will make that really tough decision but I have gone back and forth with myself about this 
There is also the added factor of vets being under a lot of stress at the moment and there is a massive backlog with appointments. If I was to book him in now, today, it would be well over a month's wait and probably well into December time. So I think by that point it probably would be quite a large tumour and probably a bit too late for him to put him through that. And I just think by then he would be two years old in a few months. And I just don't want him living his last couple of weeks or months in stress and pain on medication away from the group. So that's the decision I've come to. I hope you guys can respect that. But it has been a very, very difficult one to make. Crumble, on the other hand, is doing good as far as I know. Rats are really good at hiding pain and illness, so he could have something underlying going on just based on his age. But the only thing I've noticed with him is he is losing a bit of weight. So I have been doing extra feedings with him, as you've probably seen in some of our videos. And I have been giving him like a kidney support function powder thingy. Just to be safe, I do tend to give this to my rats when they get older, when they're about 18 months old upwards, but I have been making sure to give him that as well, but he does have a vet appointment in November time booked, I booked this a few weeks ago, um, oh my god Grumble, I booked it a few weeks ago, as you can see he can still jump pretty well, um, just to get his like heart and kidney function checked over because those are like the two main things that old rats can suffer with, and I really, really, really want to just make sure that he's around for as long as possible. So just as a precaution and also to kind of look into why he's lost weight. He's not lost a bunch of weight. He was quite fat before, but um, you can feel it on him. You can feel that he's a bit more frail and just generally a bit older. So he's doing okay at the moment and he does have a checkup sometime soon just to make sure everything that we can check is doing okay. So I also just thought I'd give you a quick update on the whole orbit situation because I feel like it's been months since I said I was doing the bioactive and then nothing has happened. To be fair, she's probably been in this temporary enclosure for a couple of months now, which was not the plan. I moved her in here thinking Max, she would be in there for maybe a week, a few days, and it has just dragged on. So cut a long story short, it's been a whole thing. I was supposed to be getting a background pre-made and it just never turned up and it's been a whole thing. So that never happened and I've had to decide to make my own background. And then I ordered some like sheets of polystyrene because I annoyingly had so much of it left over from moving and furniture and stuff. And I could have used that but we threw it away. Um, so I had to buy some online and I just was waiting for that to arrive. And then the order got cancelled and that never turned up. And I finally got some arriving so hopefully I should have that done maybe in the next month or so. It is still going to take me a long time to do it because I was not planning on making my own background. But I'm going to give it a go and fingers crossed it turns out, <laughs> the rats are like falling around, fingers crossed it turns out okay because I just want to get her into that enclosure as soon as possible because this has been a long old thing that has dragged out far too long but I still promise it is coming and I should have a video on that hopefully in the next month or so. I'm just so desperate to get her in there so that's the whole thing about her, it is still happening. I just got back from checking my peer box. I just want to say a big thank you as always for all the letters and drawings. They are my favourite thing to read. But I also just wanted to say a big thank you to Romy. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Romy has sent me a big parcel which you really didn't have to but I'll just show a couple of things. Most things are handmade. It must have took you so long to make all these so thank you so much for sending this for the rats and the mice. I'm going to show a few things now. So there are so many hand notes. I'll just show a few of them. This one I think is my favourite, the shape of this is so cute. I cannot wait to use this with the boys, so thank you for this. And then we have these hammocks, the fabric is so cute. These are making me so excited for Christmas. I don't want to be a person to wish away October, but I cannot wait to use these. These are so cute, thank you. We also have some really interesting chew toys. I've never seen chew toys like this before, and I just thought this one was adorable. I think my favourite thing you sent has to be this bag because it sums up my relationship with Hubble perfectly and it says I work hard so my cat can have a better life and that could not be any more true. So thank you so much for everything you've sent. I'm blown away by how much time you've put into making everything and I really want to put the Christmas hammocks in. It is only the end of October but after this, once Halloween is out of the way, it is pretty much Christmas anyway so maybe I'll do that. Literally the only spooky thing I have done this month is buy Halloween shaped pasta and in true form I have cooked way too much so the rats are getting all of the extra tonight and they're really excited so let's see what we've got. We have a bat, <laughs> want a bat, a spoodle, oh my god, an octopus, oh a ghost, you want a ghost? 
Yoink. Surely there's a pumpkin in here somewhere. What is this? Is this supposed to be a pumpkin? Pudding! Pumpkin for you. 